go ahead and solve this word problem. 5,000 was placed in an account earning 7% interest. Calculate the final amount in the account after six years if the interest received is compounded monthly. So what equation do we need in order to figure this out? Here's the equation. A is equal to P times 1 plus R divided by N raised to the NT. Okay, so what exactly can we do with this? You need to know that A represents the final amount. P is the principal. That's how much you put in the account initially. We placed in $5,000 in the account. The interest rate is 7% which is 0 0.07 as a decimal. To get it, just take 7 and divide it by 100. Now, N is the number of times your account is credited with interest per year. So it's compounded monthly. That means your account is credited with interest every month, or 12 times a year. So N is 12. By the way, if it's compounded daily, what is the value of N? There's 365 days in a year. So if you hear the word daily, N is 365. Weekly, N is 52. Quarterly, N is 4. Semi-annually, N is 2. Annually, N is 1. Now we want to find out how much money will be in account after 6 years. T is the time in years. So now all you need to do is just type this in your calculator exactly the way you see it. And you should get seven thousand six hundred and fifty three cents. So it's seven thousand six hundred dollars and fifty three cents. Now what about part B? Compounded continuously. How much money will be in the account if it's compounded continuously? You need to use a different equation. A is equal to P E raised to the RT. P is 5,000, R is 0 0.07, and T is 6. So it's 5,000 E raised to the 0 0.07 times 6, and this is equal to $7,609.81. So it's very close to this answer, but when it's compounded continuously, the amounts should be a little bit higher. Now part C, how long will it take for the account to double in value, starting from 5000 Now the only thing that I didn't mention for part C is if it's compounded monthly or continuously. So let's go with part A. Let's say that it's compounded monthly. If we're looking for how long, we need to find the value of T. So let's rewrite the equation. A is equal to P 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. So the principal is 5,000. Now the account is going to double in value. So if you multiply 5,000 by 2, it's going to be 10,000. R is still 0 0.07. If it's compounded monthly, N is 12. And we got to find T this time. So the first thing we need to do is divide both sides by 5,000. 10,000 divided by 5,000 is 2. Now what I'm going to do is simplify this expression on the inside. 0 0.07 divided by 12 plus 1. That's about 1.00583. And that's raised to the 12t. Now anytime you want to solve for an, a variable that is in the exponent position, take the natural log of both sides. You can use a regular log as well. Once you take the natural log of both sides, you can move the exponent, in this case the 12t, to the front. And so the natural log of 2 is equal to 12t times the natural log of 1.005a3. So now at this point, we just need to do some algebra, and then we can uh, get the answer. So let's divide both sides by 12 and ln of that number. So ln2 divided by 12 times the natural log of 
0.583, that should equal T. And your calculator, if you're not getting the right answer, make sure you enclose this in parentheses. That should help. T is about 9.94 years. So that's how long it's going to take for the account to double if it's compounded monthly. In 2010, a certain island contained 200 dogs. If the population increases by 6% each year, how many dogs are expected to be on the island by 2025? So first, let's write an equation. And we can use this. A is equal to P 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. But let's say A is basically P of T. That's the population at any time T. P, or P initial, is the initial population, which is 200. Now, the interest rate, R, is basically how much the population increases in a percentage per year. So it increases 6% each year. So R is 0 0.06. And that 6%, it happens every year. So we could say that it's annually, or N is simply 1. And so this is the equation. It's going to be 200, and then 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06 raised to the t. So this equation will give us the population at any time t. Now, in the year 2010, t is equal to 0, because in that year we have the initial population, which was 200. So in 2025, 15 years later, t is going to equal 15. So we need to find the population when t is 15. So it's 200 times 1.06 raised to the 15. And so that's going to be 479.3. So there's going to be about 479 dogs in the year 2025. Now, in what year will the population reach 1,000? So let's start with this equation. P of t is equal to 200 times 1.06 raised to the t. So P of t, let's replace it with 1,000. And our goal is to solve for t. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to divide both sides by 200. 1,000 divided by 200 is 5. So now what we need to do is take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 5 will be equal to the natural log of 1.06 raised to the t. So now let's move this variable to the front. So ln of 5 is equal to t times ln of 1.06. So in order to solve for t, we need to divide both sides by ln 1.06. So it's going to be the natural log of 5 divided by the natural log of 1.06. And so t is about 27.6. So 27 years later. Starting from 2010, 27 years later is the year 2027. 28 years later, I mean, no, wait, 10 plus 27, that's 2037. So the population is going to reach 1,000 in the year 2037. So sometime between 2037 and 2038. A sample contains a thousand counts of bacteria. If the bacteria doubles every 20 minutes, how many counts of bacteria will there be in five hours? So we need to write an equation. So this is going to be the population of bacteria. Initially, we have a thousand. And it doubles, so we're going to put a two. 
it doubles every 20 minutes. So you can write the equation two ways. If you want to be, I mean, if you want t to be in minutes, it's going to be t over 20. Because every 20 minutes is going to double. If you plug in 20, 20 over 20 is 1. 2 to the first is 2, so it doubles. If you plug in 40, 40 over 20 is 2. 2 squared is 4, so it doubles twice, which is equivalent to 4. So that's the equation if you want t in minutes. But we want to know how many bacteria or counts of bacteria there's going to be in 5 hours. So we want t in hours. So if it doubles every 20 minutes, how many times does it double in one hour? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour. And so there's three intervals of 20 minutes within the hour. So if it doubles every 20 minutes, it's going to double three times in one hour. So we can write it as 3t. Because if you plug in 1, 2 to the third is 8, which is 2 times 2 times 2. It's doubling three times in that single hour. So that's the equation that we need where t is in hours. So now all we need to do is replace t with 5. So if it doubles 3 times in 1 hour, it's going to double 15 times in 5 hours. So it's 2 to the 15 times 1,000. And it's going to be equal to a big number. 32,768,000. 000. Now, what about part B? If the bacteria triples every 15 minutes, how many counts of bacteria will there be in 6 hours? Feel free to try this example. So let's begin. Let's write an equation for the population with respect to C. So the initial population is uh, still 1,000. And this time, the bacteria triples. So it increases by 3, or by a factor of 3. It triples every 15 minutes. So in terms of minutes, we can write it as t over 15. But in terms of hours, it's different. So if it triples every 15 minutes, how many times does it triple per hour? 60 divided by 15 is 4. So it's going to triple 4 times in an hour. So now we can find the population after 6 hours. So it's going to be 1,000 times 3 raised to the 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. 3 to the 24 is a big number times 1,000. We're going to have to write this in scientific notation. So it's going to be about 2.82 times 10 to the 14 counts of bacteria. And so that's the answer.